Okay, so from my side, I think this is going to be a quick meeting. I was going uh, uh, some hours ago to the issues and pull requests. We don't have any pending pull requests. Uh, all of them are closed now. And with respect to issues, I don't think we have a lot of changes with respect to the last meeting. So uh, first of all, we have issue 138 uh, for discussing uh, measuring efficiency. There is no more discussion since the last uh, meeting, so I think that this is not good enough. And I was to uh, start writing the the, um, the metrics during the last week, but I couldn't. So I, it's still in my to do task for this next week. So I hope to start producing description of metrics during this week. I have nothing else to say with respect to 138. Except that if, if you want. To comment anything, of course, it would be great. Then the, no comments. Okay. The next I'd love piece. somebody to post the meeting minutes link, though, because it's still not showing up for me. <laughs> okay. I'll post it for the 750,000. So, sorry, now, it's, <laughs> now I get it. Now I have it. Thank you. Sorry, I'll be stepping a pest. Okay, no problem. Thank you, Matt. Yep. Okay. So the, the next um, the next uh, issue in my group is one hundred and thirty six, which is testing repositories. Uh, remember that we have this open until we start with the implementation of metrics, maybe linked to the Google Summer of Code. Um, and the idea is just to remember that we are going to try to do testing and so on. So for now, nothing else. Then we have 134, which is definition of abandoned issues. And the idea here is to deal with two different names for similar things. And the consensus in the last meeting was to take note of this. And what I did yesterday is to label this as a good first issue, saying exactly what should be done. So that anyone that wants to, to take this issue and produce a pull request can. The, the idea is quite simple, is to um, annotate the file corresponding to the metric where we are talking about these um, uh, concepts, and don't, and uh, I don't remember which one was the other one. But anyway, yes, if you are interested in this, just go to the end of the issue and look at the comment, and that's basically what we have to do. If somebody can produce a patch, that's fine. Otherwise, otherwise, I will be doing that, hopefully during the next days. Uh, then the, the next one is uh, the, a note that we also left here, which is refining comments. Uh, this was some suggestion by um, by Sim that makes a lot of sense, and the idea is to produce uh, to consider them in the new version of the definition of the metrics, and we left it here for remembering. So again, it's it's basically a reminder that we need to do that. So I, I don't have any specific comments on it. Then we have two issues, 82 and 81, related to Google Summer of Code. Nothing special. The only comment here is that probably you all know that the Google Summer of Code was uh, finally resolved. We have four interns for Cal. Uh, one of them is going to um, deal with um, implementation of um, metrics, a reference implementation of metrics uh, with Percival. Another one is going to work on improving uh, the support for the source code analysis in RAL. And then there are two more interns that are going to work in implementations of metrics with, um, uh, with our work. And uh, so anything else? If you have any comment on Google Summer Code or something. Can these just be closed now? Sorry? Can these issues be closed now? Mm, I don't know because still we are having in some of the issues some comments by pe people who were participating, just asking questions about why they weren't selected and stuff like that. So maybe we can still lock them open for one week. And I can take care of closing them after that if you want, or, or we can close them, whatever you may prefer. Yeah, I mean, I don't think we have to get in the habit too much of providing too much feedback as to why they weren't selected. I mean, uh, I, I, yeah. Well, let's close them because they, they can always grow up and if we want. So. Yeah, I think I think yeah. I don't think sharing information about why you weren't selected. I mean, it's really it's a lot of it's ultimately a flavor choice. 
No, it's also it's also feedback. So some people, for instance, complain about we are not using Slack and they would prefer it. I mean, that's not probably going to change my mind, but it's worth knowing because you can learn what people think about the process and all of that. But, but I think that, yeah, we can close because in any case, they can reopen if they want or open a new zoo or send a yeah. mail to the communities. So, I say we close and just move on to okay. focusing on the four. Okay, Let, let's close with the comment that the SOC is over. I mean, the, the selection process for people send of code is over, so we are closing it. That's good. Okay, are you going to do that right now? Let's just okay. do that. Okay. Yeah, it sounds like a plan. Thank you. And, uh, okay. So coming back to the list of issues, the other two is uh, 61, this characterizing a bug report the past success, which is a use case, and characterizing a participant, uh, blah, 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 which is a use case, which is uh, are still open, just in case we can capture more information that at some point we need to close them too. And I don't know when we need to close. So we were discussing this during the last uh, meeting, if you remember, we decided to keep them open for a while. At some point we need to close there if there is no, no more feedback, but still, I don't mind having them open. You know. Are there pull requests related to these yet? Sorry? Are there pull requests related no, to that? Uh, one, there, there was one pull request that was already closed. Yep with the first definition of the use case. Remember that in, in the use case, we first talk about the use, the use case itself and in goals and questions. And then we try to refine the metrics and the, the refining the metrics is not there. And in the other case, I think there is no pull request at all. I don't remember exactly, let me check. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm checking just a second. Um, yeah, in the first one, number 61, there is no pull request as far as I remember. And Carl said that he was going to comment more on this, but that was in January 17. So I, I assume that he had no time since then. Uh, I, sa I said I would comment on January 17th. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can, what was I, yeah, let's just close it. Well. I, I don't bother either having it open or closed. So we can still have it open just in case somebody wants to contribute or close it and we can always reopen if needed. I, yeah. I will be quite focused on the chaos and auger repositories uh, in addition to writing some papers this summer. I mean, that's all I have to do. So mm -hmm. um, I would say let's leave it open then. Yeah, let's, I, I also vote leave them open just so they stay at the top of the heap. Okay, okay, that's fine. So I think it's also a good thing because if people can, they can see that we are working on the issues and they can produce issues this way. So, okay. So I think there is no more issues, no more pull requests. So we are down from this point of view and, and then we can move to the next to the next item in the agenda, which is this about uh, metrics release. Yep, so this is just my friendly reminder to always encourage the working groups to think about um, the focus areas that might have metrics associated with them. So it's not important that there is a certain number of focus areas or a certain number of metrics within a focus area. So I, the point being that there's no set number of, of metrics that need to be developed in order to hit a release you could release one metric have we have we set the criteria for a, i think we did yep. and do we have a document that says where that is um i could yeah uh, we have we have a spreadsheet the spreadsheet that you shared with us during the last meeting matt yep. so i think, it, level, yeah, I think sorry, it would be helpful i think it'd be helpful if we included a link to that spreadsheet under a heading inside the readme um, along with possibly creating a markdown page inside the repository that just says, here's the criteria. Um, the spreadsheet's super helpful for tracking, but like when I go to create metrics, I'm in the repository. And for me, it's just a lot easier if everything's in one place. Okay. Like just uh, I think, because I think, I think we have not discussed it on the specific criteria, but that we are deciding this metric is ready for release up to now. Okay. I mean, it would be helpful for me because like I have interns and 
people like Carter and Gabe who've been working on this for a while and we've built a lot of metrics. So I'd like to be able to um, have metrics that we've built that are ones that are ready for release. And I'd like to know the criteria for saying it's ready for release so that I can direct students to do that. Sure. So we, I'll, I'll get it up online. I, we have talked about this before and what it is, is just making sure that the metric has a detail page. So it would be the focus, the, um, the focus area right at the top level. And then a metric with the question that it's answering. And then just the detail page associated with that metric. Yeah, and the idea is if anyone wants to work with the metric, the only thing that needs to do is to first of all open an issue saying I'm, I'm working with this metric, anything you may want to do, which is the, the, the one that we have right now is exactly like that. And then if there are, the moment we have a certain consensus or there are no more comments, uh, it's to produce a pull request with the intended metrics and then we discuss in the pull request. And at some point we agree in the, in the text of the pull request and basically the next meeting we decide whether that metric is ready for release or still needs some work. And right now we have like uh, nine metrics, which are the, the, the nine ones that are completely defined, which is code changes, code changes lines, issues new, issues active, issues closed, review, reviews accepted and reviews declined, which are in the spreadsheet that Matt uh, shared it with us last, uh, last meeting. So I don't know if we need to, to write down something like that, but that you know, has been, I'd say, pretty intuitive. Yeah. Yep, so, sh so just looking at that spreadsheet, right, the areas, those, the nine that uh, Jesus just mentioned. The, the, on the area is called, it's called development. Yep. So under code, the focus area, code development. So Sean, the really the main criteria for those nine would be a, a detail page for code changes, a detail page for new uh, issues. And they were and they were explicitly accepted in meetings like this. Yep. So I mean, the detail pages may already exist. I have to go one by one, but yeah. No, that they should be. Um, okay. Does that make sense, Sean? You're muted if you're talking. Yes, that makes sense. Sorry, yes. Okay. So in any case, yeah, just, just to come back to that, if, uh, if you look at the, at the first issue that we have opened right now, which is 138, my idea is to work on the same focus area, the next goal, which is efficiency. And we have a proposal right now, we have some comments. So my idea is for the next week to start working in the detailed description of the metrics for this goal, having into account the current discussion in this issue, previous discussions that we have had, and the previous definition of these metrics, because some of these metrics already have a preliminary uh, definition that we inherited from the, from the historic set of, uh, of metrics. Yep. What does the sum column mean? Sorry? In the spreadsheet, what is the sum column for? So it's just the way that D and I had set it up is they asked the participants, see participant one, two, three, and four. Okay. So it would be like Sean, Jesus, Matt, Kevin, Armstrong, and then we would all just vote. They used it as a way to vote to capture which ones were ready for review. So the participants are people who helped create the metric or people who voted on the metric? Who voted? So if you click on the DNI tab, that'll give you a okay. little, that'll give so you a little up, insight. Up to now, up to now, what we are trying to do is to reach consensus in issues, pull requests in these meetings. And up to now, we didn't need to vote. Yeah. Okay. You can, if, if 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 you feel it's convenient, we can also include a specific, a specific voting mechanism. But since everything is discussed in, in detail in the open, and anyone can can produce their opinions and anything else. Uh, yeah, I think in the case of evolution, no voting is really necessary. I think general consensus is <laughs> agreed on in these meetings. Uh, I, I, would, I would say yeah. that we can, include, we can include voting if we cannot uh, agree at some point in, in some of the metrics or something. But up to now, we could reach a consensus. So I'm, I'm fine with that. Yep. Yep. Does that help, Sean? Yep. Okay. 
Okay, and uh, I think this is all the. Yeah, so I think the, the, the push over the next month is going to be to create those detailed pages for those metrics, just so they're ready for release. Okay. Uh, remember for anyone, especially those uh, watching the recording later, that we have on the one hand, the discussion of more goals. If you want, just open a ticket, open an issue, and we can start discussing more goals. Second, we have the production of the, the, of the text of the mailing of the, sorry, of the metrics themselves, so the detailed description of the metrics. And third, we always, we always have open the writing of use cases. If somebody wants to propose a use case, that's fine, that's perfect, and it would be a great contribution. Okay, any other comments, anything else that you want to mention? Nope, I'm good. That was helpful. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. See you next week. See you. Good. Bye. Bye. Hey, who is taking notes?